everybody. This is John Lamazdi, and um, tonight's sketch is going to be from one of my favorite books called uh, Instant Karma from Barbara Ann Ripper. And um, it's really a collection of about 9,000 lines of just really great advice. And um, I came across it once in like a Barnes & Noble. And uh, it's been a good source of inspiration for um, many sketches, but uh, more importantly, it's been a good source of inspiration for my life. So I thought that uh, I would focus on one of the lines, and the uh, line that I want to focus on is uh, raise the issue of a disagreement without hostility because I think it's important to air grievances but not necessarily to do it in a in a uh, hostile way so what I'm gonna do excuse me because I am uh, working with text as usual I'm gonna put a white layer uh, behind the background layer so I have this transparent layer but I'm gonna add text which is going to uh, create new layers on top of that so here is my text editor where I enter my text Gonna space this out a bit. And you might be surprised that the text is not showing up. The reason the text is not showing up is because the color is white and it's of course on a white background. So I'm going to uh, change to this nice wheel. I'm also going to change it to left aligned. I'm going to increase the size of the text. just going to move my text box out of the way because I don't need to edit that at all. And finally I'm going to uh, go through my fonts and see if there is a better font than the default. Yeah, I really like that. See if I can find a nice italicized font. In fact, I think I'd rather this be. Um, wide rather than high. It's 800 by 600 pixels. I'm going to go into canvas size. I'm going to reverse the numbers and I'll break this chain so that I can affect these without them being proportionally
there we go. So I'm going to delete this new layer because it no longer is accurate. I'm going to add a new white layer at the correct size. I'm going to move that below the background again. And I'm going to go into view and change my zoom to fit image and window. There we go. I'm going to go back into my text tool, size up a bit. making sure I have the text layer selected. Making sure <clears throat> my text box extends to all edges of the image. And go back to my fonts and see if I can find right thing. I think I am going to go with that bell italicized. Yeah. We'll go back to this and um, you can see that my text is going off the bottom of the page. So what I'm going to do is adjust the line spacing so that it's a bit tighter. Maybe not that tight. And I'm simply going to go into the background. I'm going to go into my brushes, use my brush tool. I'm going to see if I can find an appropriate brush to make a mark. really love these brushes here. These are bokeh brushes. I love these brushes here too. These are cloud brushes. And so I could, for example, uh, change the color to something rather dark. Go back into my brush tool, take the opacity way down, and I'm actually going to delete that background too because it again was not properly sized anymore after I changed the dimensions. So I'm going to create a transparent layer right here. Whoops. Undo. I think I'm going to give this some color. something like a blue. I'm going to take my scale down quite a bit. Take my opacity up. It's not quite the right brush. So I'll go back into my brushes, see if there's something a little bit more. Yeah. I'll go back into my brush tools, take the opacity down, change the color. Now I'm thinking something more sort of orange. Yeah, that's subtle. So I have my text layer here, my cloud layer here, and in my uh, background layer that's currently white, I'm going to add a gradient. And the gradient is going to be from something rather red up 
think, to something rather light. Yeah, I like that quite a bit. It creates a really sort of an angry looking, uh, angry looking environment and uh, cleans up down below, which is nice. I think it reinforces what's being said. So really straightforward text treatment. Um, and this is sort of how I'm feeling tonight. So thanks so much for hanging out and watching how to do it. And I will see you tomorrow.